Hello arcade gamers and welcome back to Biggie D's Arcade. Gonna do a short video for the midweek report. I've got a red alert on Arcade One Up. Um, we got an announcement today through their social media platforms that they were gonna be doing a live stream this coming Monday um, at 6 p.m. Eastern announcing a new product. So I wanted to get in early, take a look at what they're advertising and try to decipher what it is we're actually gonna be getting on Monday. So I'll go through that with you here in the video. And I also wanna give you guys three questions um, that I still am unsure on about this cabinet. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. And I'll start with the thumbnail I created for this. It kind of gives away what I think we're getting. Um, and it also kind of goes in line with what Arcade One Up is doing with their marketing for this live stream as well. So um, I went ahead and I put the Death Star in there. You know, what's under the cover? And it's got uh, John D on there. And if you go to his YouTube or the YouTube for Arcade One Up and you look at the One Up weekly live stream, you get a little preview. Uh, you'll see John D come on for about 15 seconds showing the cabinet directly behind him, but it is covered up. And then he kind of makes the joke that he's going to lift it, but he's like, no, let's just wait and uh, we'll save that for Monday. So um, I started thinking, you know, what is this? It really started. I know we've been speculating for a long time, but it's right around the corner. So I'm kind of like uh, digging a little deeper into this now than I would have normally and trying to just figure out, you know, are there any little signs I can tell in their advertising or anything that can tell us something? Um, so I went ahead and I'm looking at their Twitter. Um, the Twitter says the fans have spoken and we've listened. So that would mean uh, mini cabinets. You know, that could mean in came four, uh, Mortal Kombat four. Um, that could mean Star Wars re-release. Uh, or that could mean uh, Street Fighter Pro or a Capcom Pro. I mean, there's a lot of different... Uh, you know, uh, fan movements out there for various cabinets, including even Qbert. Um, so that could mean many things. Uh, but then it says to get ready for the for a blast from the past. Um, so that kind of leads me a blast from the past would mean an older title. So now we're kind of narrowing it down probably to Qbert or Star Wars re-release, right? Um, and then it says to tune in episode five of that one up show on monday january 23rd at 6 p.m eastern for a surprise reveal so this is going to be something new it's going to be a surprise uh to i guess the common uh arcade one up customer that's going to show up and watch this live stream now for us die hard arcade one up customers that uh, live this product and enjoy these day day in and day out we kind of have an idea of what they're going to be announcing already um, but then uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel for a chance to win something cool. And it's got a link to the direct link to the YouTube live stream that's going to be starting Monday at 6 p.m. Um, but it sounds like if you are subscribed, there is an opportunity to win some prizes. So if you aren't already, I would go ahead and make sure you are. Uh, that way you have an opportunity to win those prizes. They may have uh, some subscriber mode set up on 24 hours or longer or something to that effect that may prevent you if you wait until the day of the stream. So I would suggest going ahead and uh, subscribing today. But let's go ahead and look at this image. And uh, when we look at it close up, we can see the stars in the background indicating space. And then we've got behind the arcade, even though the silhouette of the arcade looks more to me like an MK uh, Midway cabinet um, or their new Midway form cabinet, I think they're just throwing us off with that um, because you can see directly behind that the globe uh, with the line through it, but it's kind of at an angle. I believe that's the Death Star. So I think they're kind of just showing us right there what we're getting with the stars and the Death Star in the background. Um, but who knows, you know, maybe we get another announcement. Maybe that silhouette is MK4 and we're getting two announcements in one day. So that would be really exciting, but I'm not holding out for that. I'm not, you know, thinking that's going to happen. I think this is really just Star Wars and that's all we're getting, but I could be pleasantly surprised. Um, but uh, I did have some questions about the cabinet and uh, I still don't know things about the Star Wars cabinet that I would like uh, to find out. We probably will find out on Monday. Um, and, uh, you know, I think that's going to be 
Uh, the stand-up, they had the sit-down, but I think we're definitely getting the stand-up. That was the more popular of the two. Um, and then a flight yoke. Are we getting the same quality flight yoke as before, or are they going to try and give us a little bit better one, an upgraded one? Um, that's a question I have is, are we getting a better yoke? Are we getting the same yoke? Or are we getting, hopefully, you know, I don't want to say it, but hopefully we're not getting a downgrade on the yoke to save money. Um, those are going to be questions people are going to have and are going to be interested in finding out on Monday during this live stream. And then the last thing that I wanted to, uh, or the second to last thing that I wanted to have a question on and present to you, the audience, is a coin door. I know that, uh, you know, the previous version of this Star Wars re release or the Star Wars uh, had no coin door, it had the stickers for the different logos for the various games. And I think with this one, we are going to remove those and get the coin door, which would be the molded one uh, that you see on most cabinets that are released now. Um, now, will it be the pressable coin door with the lights behind the coin slots? I don't think we're getting that. This is not an XL or a Pro line, I don't believe. So uh, I think we're just looking at just that molded coin door with no lighting. And then my final question is going to be, are we gonna get leaderboards? Um, we know that the first Star Wars had no online capability. There really wasn't even a cabinet out at that time that was online capable. Uh, so it, if it had been at that time, I think they would have included it. They have that opportunity now with the re-release. So I think we're gonna at least get online uh, connectivity, online leaderboards, and then more importantly than that is just the ability to receive updates easily so they can uh, improve and add uh, to the game over time. So those are all things that I have questions about, but I'm really excited about what I'm gonna see on Monday at six. I'll make sure I'm tuned in, ready to go, ready to uh, ask any questions that we still don't know about um, for you guys out there. And, um, this is probably going to be a busy week, you know, a busy weekend leading up to this. I think where there's going to be a lot of interest in this cabinet. Um, there's going to be um, quite a uh, bit of a rush to go out and get it. Um, so, you know, everyone's going to be eager to know when is it going to become available. Um, I know I'll be ready and waiting to purchase depending on, you know, some of the answers to these questions and what the price tag is going to be. Um, and it looks like it's going to be a limited number on this one, um, at least this first run, we know that only about 312 came over in the first shipment overseas. So uh, it may be limited to just that 312 starting out. So you um, are interested in this, you wanna get this cabinet, you're gonna have to probably be quick about it. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed the video today and I look forward to seeing everyone this weekend during the chill and chat and uh, continue to like and subscribe. I'll see everyone in the next video. Bye-bye.